Hey there, hiking peeps. Tom Funk here, your admin of Hiking Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Also author of 50 Hikes in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Thanks for joining me today. I love doing these little tutorials online. There's all these crazy resources out there. I'm amazed a lot of folks don't even know about them. And then when they get there, a lot of times it uh, can be a little uh, um, daunting to use the resource. Today's case is uh, a good example of when you go to it, you'll see uh, yeah, it, could, it could be a little confusing when you first start. So I'm here to help you with this. This is the National Operational Hydrologic Remote Sensing Center's Interactive Snow Information. Yes, this is a real-time snow depth map of uh, most of North America. It is a resource that you can manipulate the data, manipulate dates, times, uh, and you can uh, zoom in and get a really detailed look at snow depths in an area in real time and uh, historical information as well. So when you go to the website, nohrsc.noaa.gov, this will open up. And you can see there's not much going on uh, right now in North America, a little bit going on up there in Quebec. But let's do this. We are going to go back in time. On the left-hand side of the page, you see all this stuff. We will start with snow water equivalent. Well, let's change that. You really want to have snow depth. And let's change the date. So this is important if you're doing a trip planning uh, for a trip in the North Country, say, oh, I don't know, February, when everybody thinks they can go hiking at Pictured Rocks when it's buried in snow. And you go into this database, and you're like, wow, there's a lot of snow there in Pictured Rocks in February. Yeah, there is. That's why this is a great resource. kind of gives you a reality check uh, to uh, keep you from hiking uh, in the uh, wintertime. Unless you, of course, like the snowshoe, which I totally understand. So, yeah, you can use this as well to see how deep the snow is for snowshoeing. So, anyways, let's move forward. Let's go back in time. We're going to go to your 2014 in April, let's say the 9th. And then what you do is when you set your parameters, you'll click redraw map. So I'll just do that to start with. I'll do redraw map, and then you'll see a new map open up. And voila, there's the snow that was still left in uh, April of uh, 2014. Now, this isn't a very detailed map. So what I'm going to do is you can see my crosshairs right here down to the right-hand side of the map over the Atlantic Ocean. I'm actually going to go over here. I'm going to create a box. You just hold, you click. And you drag, you make a box, you let go. Sometimes it'll do it on its own. Sometimes you got to go up here and click redraw map. But there we go. It worked this time. Look at that. Look at all that snow that was up in the UP in April. Uh, 2014 was a humdinger of a winter, if uh, you uh, recall. So there's the, there's the map. Now on the left-hand side, you'll see some of these uh, overlays. I like to click on rivers and streams, lakes and reservoirs. I do county boundaries, and there's one more. So down here, roads and highways. Anytime you change these parameters, you change the date, you change the physical element, you got to click on redraw map. I just redo the map. There we go. You're going to see roads and stuff. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful map? This is such a cool resource. So there we go. It's not the greatest detail. It gives you, you know, wow, look at all the snow. But you can do this. Go ahead and just keep zooming in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit into Schoolcraft County. Like I said, it should load on its own. There you go. And then look over to the right. You can compare the colors. You can see there was a lot of snow, 30 to 75 inches of snow in places. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more uh, to Germfask, which is uh, right here. Okay, it should load. Should, there you go. So you can see the, the differences in color. You can see two to four inches, uh, actually four to eight inches down here. And then as you get closer to the lake, this is Sini National Wildlife Refuge right here. It gets pretty deep pretty quick. So you can see the, uh, uh, the influence of Lake Superior uh, on uh, the area. So this is Germfast right here. Um, a lot of snow. So I own a, a vacation rental property in Germfast. And when people are snowmobiling, I go in here and I take a couple snippets and screenshots and I send it to my guests to let them know, yeah, I know you live in Detroit and there's like no snow on the ground, but trust me, there's snow on the ground in the UP. So I use this resource for that. I also use it for uh, planning hikes uh, as well. Also uh, for reality checks when folks want to, like I said, hike in Pitched Rocks in February. 
So you can go in here and manipulate these uh, uh, parameters. Uh, you can change the dates in here. Say, let's go watch this. I'm going to go to May 9th, same year. What do you think? Think it's all melted yet? May 9th, same year. And wow, look at that. It's all gone. But let's do this. Up here, you can see the sliding bar. This is uh, to zoom in and out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And you'll see oh, there's a little bit of snow in the area. Not too much. I'll zoom out one more. And, uh, yeah, you can see along the Lake Superior shoreline, there's snow. So keep in mind, that North Country Trail goes right along the shoreline. So even though there's no snow inland, there tends to be snow lingering, uh, you know, usually several weeks after the snow inland has melted. So that's why this is an awesome resource is you can uh, go in and get some really uh, uh, high-level um, information and see the depth of the snow. Look at that. That's H58. You can't drive that. You kidding me? Um, in May. Yeah. So that was a, that was one heck of a winter. So again, this is the National Operational Hydrologic Remote Sensing Center's interactive snow information. This is an awesome resource. As a matter of fact, if you use the North Country Trail Planner, um, I did a video on that. Go into my uh, YouTube channel and check that out. You'll see that you can actually click on a layer and it will pull these maps up for you. And I believe it only does it in real time, doesn't do uh, historical stuff. So this, uh, if you want to do historical stuff, you have to come here and do that. Um, you can also go up here and add lat longs. I believe you can add you can add cities and stuff like that. Let's see Marquette, Michigan. Let's see what happens. Zoom. There you go. Cross your fingers and look at that. So it's in the center. Here you can see, look at that. That's the Huron Mountains. Still snow there. You got snow up at the Keweenaw um, in the middle of May. So this is kind of cool. You can even go in here. I'll, I'll even go into the future. So how much snow was left on May 20th, do you think? You know, so let's uh, redraw the map. And you can see, oh, there's a little bit left in the Keweenaw. So there you go. This is an awesome resource. Please check it out. Um, and uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, you know coming to my YouTube channel. You can always order my book uh, through Jim Dufresne's MichiganTrailsMap.com website, where he sells his books and my book. And uh, you know we talk trails all the time. You can find this video and others at my Facebook page, Tom's Trail Tales. And of course, there's always my YouTube channel, Tom Funk Worldly Event Worldly Adventures. Click on that uh, logo on the bottom right-hand side, click subscribe, and you'll get notified as I, as I make more of these videos, which uh, seem to be pretty popular, so I'll be making more of these. All right, thanks a lot, you guys, for joining me. See you again, and uh, happy trails.